Okay, let's begin with a basic review of the immune system. What is the physiologic function of the immune system? The physiologic function of the immune system is to protect individuals against infections. Define innate immunity. Innate immunity is the early line of defense mediated by cells and molecules that are always present and ready to eliminate infectious microbes. Next, let's talk about adaptive immunity. Describe adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity is mediated by lymphocytes stimulated by microbial antigens. What is required before the adaptive immunity is effective? Before the adaptive immunity is effective, first it must go through clonal expansion and differentiation of lymphocytes. So this requires clonal expansion and differentiation of lymphocytes before it's effective and responds more effectively against each successive exposure to a microbe. What are the only cells with clonally distributed receptors with fine specificities for different antigens? These are the lymphocytes of the adaptive immunity. Describe the two sections of adaptive immunity. The two sections of adaptive immunity are humoral immunity and cell-mediated immunity. What happens in humoral immunity? In humoral immunity, antibodies neutralize and eradicate extracellular microbes and toxins. What happens in cell-mediated immunity? In cell-mediated immunity, T lymphocytes eradicate intracellular microbes. Describe the phases, the sequential phases of the adaptive immunity responses. First there is antigen recognition by lymphocytes. Then activation of the lymphocytes to proliferate and to differentiate into effector and memory cells. Then there is elimination of the microbes. Then decline of the immune response and then long-lived memory. Different populations of lymphocytes serve different functions and how may they be distinguished by the surface expression of particular membrane molecules? Remember that they may be distinguished by the surface expression of particular mo molecules as a result of the type of proteins that they uh, present on their membranes. So remember that it is the surface expression of a particular membrane molecules that uh, differentiates the different types of lymphocytes and how they function. Describe the function of B lymphocytes. First, what are the progeny of activated B cells? The progeny of activated B cells are the plasma cells. So remember that B lymphocytes are the only cells that produce antibodies. B lymphocytes express membrane antibodies that recognize antigens and the progeny of activated B cells called plasma cells secrete the antibodies that neutralize and eliminate the antigen. Now let's talk about T lymphocytes. Remember that T lymphocytes recognize peptide fragments of protein antigens which are displayed on other cells. What is it that helper T lymphocytes produce to activate phagocytes to destroy ingested microbes, recruit leukocytes, and activate B lymphocytes to produce antibodies. Helper T lymphocytes produce cytokines. Also remember that cytotoxic T lymphocytes, or CTLs, kill infected cells harboring microbes in the cytoplasm. What is the function of APCs, or antigen-presenting cells? The function of antigen-presenting cells is to capture antigens of microbes that enter through epithelia concentrate these antigens in lymphoid organs and display the antigens for recognition by T cells. Describe the area where lymphocytes and APCs are organized. This is where the immune responses are initiated and develop. Lymphocytes and APCs are organized in peripheral lymphoid organs. Describe the action and function of naive lymphocytes. Naive lymphocytes circulate through peripheral lymphoid organs 
searching for foreign antigens. Describe the action of effector T lymphocytes. Effector T lymphocytes migrate to peripheral sites of infection where they function to eliminate infectious microbes. Describe the function of plasma cells. Fun plasma cells remain in lymphoid organs in the bone marrow where they secrete antibodies that enter the circulation and find and eliminate microbes.